In this video, we provide the solution to question number four for the practice exam number three for math 1060, in which case we're given a complex quotient, three plus five i over two minus two i, and we want to compute this quotient and put it in the standard complex form, a plus bi. When it comes to complex quotients, the strategy you should use is multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So you get one minus two i times one plus two i. In the denominator, you're always gonna get a sum of squares. So you get, that is you'll take the real part squared and the imaginary part squared. So you get one squared plus two squared like so. And as you're squaring it, it doesn't matter what the sign is. Uh, in the numerator though, you do have to FOIL things out. So you get three times one, which is three, three times two i, which is six i. You're gonna get five i times one, which is five i. And then you're gonna get five i times two i. That's gonna give you a negative 10. Two times five is 10, and then i times i is negative one. Simplifying this, the real part's in the top. You get three minus 10, which is negative seven. For the imaginary parts, you're gonna get six i plus five i, which is 11 i. In the denominator, you have a one plus four like so. We do need to break it up into a real part and imaginary part. The denominator turns out to be five, so you get a negative seven fifths, and you get an 11 fifths i as the final result. This is the standard form, in which case then we select choice B as the correct answer.